Now, we need to count backwards from a three-digit number. So here, we start with 103. So there's 100, no tens, and three ones. Counting back, we have 102, 101, 100. But now, we need to take one away, but we don't have any ones. So what we can do is first exchange our 100 for 10 tens, and then take one of those tens and exchange it for 10 ones. So now, when we take one away, we get 99, because we now have 9 tens and 9 ones. And now we can continue taking away one each time until we get to 94, so 9 tens and 4 ones. Now we start with 595, so that's 500s, 9 tens, and 5 ones. Then we have 594, 593, 592, 591, 590, but now to take one away, we need to exchange this 10 for 10 ones. So then when we take one away, we get 589. We now have 500s and only 8 tens because we had to exchange one of them to take one away. Then we continue counting back until we get to 586. Now we start with 816. So we have 800s, 1 ten, and 6 ones. We can continue counting back until we get to 810, but then to take one away, we need to exchange our 10 for 10 ones. Then when we take one away, we get 809, because we now have 800s, 0 tens, and 9 ones. Then 808, 807. And here we start with 506. So we have 500s, no tens, and six ones. Then 505, 504, we continue counting back until we get to 500. But now to take one away, first we need to swap one of our hundreds for 10 tens. Then we can take one of those tens and exchange it for 10 ones. That means when we take one away, we get 499. We have 400s because we exchanged 9 tens and 9 ones. Then we have 498, 497.